Let's take a look at what it takes to add an entrance to an elevation in the uh, GDS software, in the WinBid Pro. The first thing I did is just create a simple job um, and then an elevation that just has five panels as we can see here. And you can, you can put horizontals in and all that, but I like to work in the order of these tabs down here. So you'll notice the third tab over is the doors tab. And that tab uh, will get us to the place where we can hit add entrance. Now the entrance uh, information is all under the tree here in the menu tree. Um, entrances would be pre-configured groups of doors and door frames and then you can have individual door frames and individual door leaves. Now you can't add a door leaf without a door frame but you can add a door frame and not put a door leaf in it. So you can always have a framed opening if it's a wooden door or a door provided by others. Um, you can always create your elevation like that. But in this case, let's go ahead and put a door frame and leaf in. And we're going to say in panel number three, right in the middle. And let's do it individually at first. Uh, so we're going to add a door frame. I'm looking for a pair of doors. And uh, here's a pair down here. And it gives you the outside, um, I'm sorry, the inside dimensions for the door frame. So this would match the door dimension that has to fill that frame. And then you've got your frame profile here. Here it tells us it's a pair. It also says pair in the description. Um, the frame style, pivot type, and all those things. So everything's, tr we try and spell it all out right in that list so it makes it easier for you to pick what you need. Um, so now let's go ahead and pick a door leaf. Since I selected a pair frame, I'm only going to see pairs in this section here. So this is where you would pick your uh, style of door and the right pivot and closure and all that. So we're going to go with offset pivot, medium style, and it's a 7284. So this is the outside dimension of the pair of doors. And after I select that, I can go ahead and add that to the elevation. So it's simply um, sizes the panel that the doors go into and a pair of doors still only takes up one panel so I've got my f five panel opening panel three has a pair of doors and basically it sized that and equalized the remaining uh, panels in the elevation so you'll notice it's a medium style it has a standard bottom rail so now if I wanted to go in and change that bottom rail and make it a um, 10 inch bottom rail or if it's some custom thing that uh, it needs, uh, let's see, I would go to here first to show the bottom rail on the drawing. So let's say it needs like a 12 inch bottom rail, something, something a little different. And what you'll need to know is um, there's also probably an increase in price. So you'd have to add whatever part number is needed for that increase to your per entrance uh, column here so that it can price that for you. Usually most vendors have a, a part number that's like an ad for a different bottom rail and that's the part number you would put in here. So there's two parts to it. There's drawing it which is by putting this profile in and the second part is um, adding the part number so that the uh, estimate can reveal, um, you know, show the cost of that increase. So, uh, so now sometimes you'll notice it won't redraw that um, bottom rail right away so I want to click on layout and then redraw and now it shows me that big 12 inch bottom rail so that's pretty much all there is to putting um, a pair of doors in with the door frame and door leaf individually now real quick let's just go put a single door I'll go back to doors tab add entrance I'll just say panel 5 and you do have to type that number into this field so keep that in mind now I can click add entrance and there should be a list of entrances. Uh, if it's a catalog that we've configured for the new version 15 software, you'll see a list of entrances. So let's say there's a right-hand door, uh, narrow style. And you can always create your own group just by creating a new entrance and telling it which door frame and door leaf uh, you want to belong to it. And that way um, you can create any custom entrance you want just depending on what door frame and leaf is required. So in that case, I'll just pick that one. It's a medium style uh, single door. And now, now I'm going to put that in. And keep in mind that we go by hinging in our software where a lot of the industry goes by handing. So this is a left hinge door. 
and I can see that by the directional uh, arrow on the drawing. We also put this little generic handle on there so you know which side the handle's on. So uh, that's pretty much in. Uh, it for this. It, again, it, it sized the panel that I inserted the door into and then it equalized the remaining panels. So you can always go to unequal panels and change the side light width if you need to. You can add horizontals. All that you can do um, after you put your doors in. And I can go and change the bottom rail for this one just like I did for the pair. So that's, that's what you'd want to do if you want to add different hardware or anything. You just edit the door parts and that just affects the doors in the panel that you've selected. And uh, that's pretty much it for adding doors.